Greetings, I'm Sally Tinker, the world's foremost inventor under the age of 12. Welcome to S Tinker Tube. Today I'm chatting with James Foley, the author and illustrator I commissioned to record the true tales of my adventures in invention. So James, how long does it take to make a book? It takes about six months. So there's a couple of months of writing, a couple of months of sketching everything out, and a couple of months for the final illustrations. And then I have to wait for another six months on top of that for the book to actually get published. That takes far too long. In the 15 seconds it took you to say that, I've written a book called Time Travel for Dummies. Yeah, I, I don't believe you. Granted, I did travel back through time over and over during those 15 seconds, giving me the equivalent of two weeks to write the book. But, but time travel isn't possible, is it? It's actually quite possible. You'd understand me if you read my new book, Time Travel for Dummies. Let me ask you another question so I can write another book. How do you make a book? Well, I'm, I'm actually very glad you asked. You start with an idea and then you do lots of daydreaming and brainstorming and thinking and... Sorry, I wasn't listening properly. I was writing Time Travel for Dummies, Volume 2. What I did here sounded complicated though. Surely the creative process could be automated in future? I bet I could build a robot that could write, illustrate and publish a fantastic story in a matter of hours. Yeah, but it wouldn't be very good. Machines can't do everything. Hmm. So, Mr. Bookmaking Expert, how do you make all the copies of your books? Oh, I don't have to do any of that actually. It, they all do it at the printers. So they've got these really big machines. Ah! Well, hang on. Admit it, machines can do everything. Well, no, they, they can't. I mean, not yet. We only use machines to make copies of the books, but they can't actually write and illustrate the book in the first place. Hmm, we'll see. Next question. How do illustrators draw characters consistently? Well, uh, I sometimes make clay models of my characters, and I also put lots of reference drawings up on the wall while I'm working. Where do you work? I work in a studio at home. I've got these two desks. One's got all my writing and drawing stuff on it, and the other one's got all my tech stuff, so my printer and my computer and my graphics tablet. Double heart! You even have machines at home! How do you use the computer to make books? Well, I, I type up the words, of course, and I also scan in some drawings, and then I can add colour and shading using the graphics tablet. There you have it, folks. James Foley, who said machines can't do everything, but he sure uses them a lot. But they can't do everything. What I actually said was, Sally, um, that I don't think a machine would be able to write and illustrate a good book. Well, how do you know that you're not just a bookmaking robot that I invented? Why would you say that? No reason. Okay, you're kind of, you're kind of freaking me out, Sally. Like, I would, I would know if I was a robot, okay? And I'm definitely not a robot. 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 Dear viewer, have you ever made your own book? Did you write the words and draw the pictures? Did you work with a friend? What was your favourite part of the process? Tell us about it in the comments. And if you have any questions for James or for me, Sally Tinker, write them in the comments too. Not a robot. 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 Not a robot.